singular and plural remember in previous class we had learnt about certain rules which help us to change singular nouns to plural nouns today we are going to talk about the remaining rules but before we proceed further children i would like you all to revise the previous rules quickly let's have a look rule 1 add s to form plural of most nouns rule 2 if a singular noun ends in ch sh s double s x or o then add es to form plural nouns rule 3 there are few nouns which form their plurals by changing the inside vowels of the singular nouns for example man becomes men rule 4 there are some nouns which form their plural by adding en at the end for example ox changes to oxen rule 5 there are some nouns which remain the same in their singular as well as plural form for example deer remains deer rule 6 there are some nouns which are always used in plural form for example socks shoes and many more now let us talk about new rules rule number 7 if a singular noun ends in y and the y follows a consonant then change y to ies to form the plural nouns understood children that means you have to check a word which ends with y which letter does it have before y you have to check the letter before y If it is a consonant, then drop y and add ies. Okay, let us see some examples. Children, here I have underlined the consonants. Okay, and they are with green color. The first word is fairy. The word fairy ends with letter y, and y. follows the letter r which is a consonant so fairy changes to fairies here y is dropped and ies is added the second word is baby now the consonant b is before the letter y baby and it changes to babies y is dropped and ies is added next we have lady letter d which is a consonant is before the letter y it changes to ladies fly the letter l which is a consonant is before y fly it changes to flies understood now let's move to the next rule rule number 8 if a singular noun ends in y and the y follows a vowel then simply add s to form the plural nouns in the previous rule what we did we have to check the letter before the last letter y and if it is a consonant what we were doing we were dropping y and we were putting ies but if the letter before y is a vowel then we will just add s to form its plural let's see boy 
Y is the last letter and it is following the letter O which is a vowel. Boy. And it changes to boys. Just adding S to boy. Toy. It changes to toys. E. The last letter is Y and it is following letter E which is a vowel. So key becomes keys. Similarly, monkey. It changes to monkeys. Clear? Let's proceed further. Rule number 9. If a singular noun ends in F or FE, then change F or FE to VES to form the plural. That means you have to check the last letter or the last two letters of the word and if they are F or FE, you have to change them to VES. Let us check out some examples. The first word is leaf. Children, the word leaf ends with letter F. We drop F and make it VES. So it becomes leaves. Then we have wolf. Wolf ending with F. We drop F, add VES and it becomes wolves. Wolves. Now we have loaf. Children, you know what is a loaf? A loaf of bread. So, loaf. It changes to loaves. Now we have knife. The last two letters are F-E. Knife. It changes to knives. We have dropped F-E and we have added V-E-S. Knives. Same way, wife. You see, here is a couple. One husband and one wife. Now it changes to wives. Here there is a man with three wives. Okay? Understood? Children, these rules are very simple. If you keep them in mind, you will be able to convert singular nouns into plural nouns very easily. Here I have an exercise for you to practice children. La write the plural form of the given nouns. Read the sentences nicely. Write down the answers in your books or notebooks. And then you have to check the answer. So, for that you have to pause the video first, write down the answers and then resume to check the answers. I hope children, you will be able to write down the answers nicely and you will always be able to do the singular and plural nouns conversions very quickly and easily. I hope this video has been of great help to you. That's all for today. Signing off. Bye-bye.